Yeah. What's the guy doing there? Well, he's he's not. Uh, he doesn't have. He doesn't have a sword out. I've never seen that before. Hold up, folks. He. Where where, where did he go? Where is he? He's not here. Hey, we paid all this money. Uh, we set up this stadium. Um, I got to go to the bank later and cash my check. So where's your fighting? Are, are you a little pussy? Are you, are you a little pussy cat? Are you, are you too afraid? To play by my rules and get into a fight where I win. What's all things fair and considered is you up against the meat grinder. Let's have you. I am physically stronger. I will use that over you. Where's this other guy? The other guy have... Okay, the other guy on the ring, he... Whoa! He is wielding a deadly weapon. What? Whoa! Okay, match off. Hold on. The other guy has two feet of a fucking live blade. Hold on. Whoa! Turn it off. The uh, the the match is over. The commentator said the f word. You can't say that. And um, uh, because the f word, as we all know, means uh, to strike. So you can't say strike that guy. There's a, there's a strike against him. Uh, because it also means uh, sex, and um, it implies sex. If you're effing, if you say the f word, and you're effing, um, then that uh, and sex is banned um, to to the shadow realm. You can't have private thoughts which are erotic. Because everywhere is a sanitized. Um, corporate every everywhere you are is corporate um online this this conversation is it basically in an office because everywhere is online it's a google phone and i'm talking into google's uh, youtube so it is basically um we're having a, we're having an office conversation uh, every everything is within the realm of a uh, corporations this is a corporate this is part of this is a part of a corporation corporation is somehow making profit off of it or i don't know uh, maybe, uh, maybe they, maybe they found some way to sell you this but no no um ladies and gentlemen we got we have to call off the match because Somebody is striking, having a li a live strike that from the record. Someone is having a live a blade on the battlefield. They're gonna they uh, are they gonna pull it out? Well, the match has started. Call the match off. The guy has a basic. You can think of it basically like a kitchen knife. That cuts right through something, even with a bone, it'll just cut through, cut right through something. <clears throat> that guy has that out versus a, versus an MMA an MMA fighter. So who's gonna win in that situation? Obviously, it's just the guy with the weapon because the weapon is stronger than any man can be. Unless I mean, unless you can disarm him, unless he, unless you can. Before he takes that thing out, but it looks like he, he, he's staring him down. 
and he's he's yelling. He's going, "Oi, oi, oi!" Um. So we'll see how this plays out. Okay, he doesn't have a head anymore, and um, so that uh, that pretty much settles it. Who um, who uh, would win? In a in a boxing match versus um, sort of a uh, not a sport, um, cause, uh, but a but an art, uh, a type of a different type of art um, involving. Uh, Weapons. <clears throat> Thanks for coming out, folks. Remember to stretch and drink lots of uh, liquids and actually get um, good food in you. That's that's really important, especially if you if you want to. Um, we'll cover we'll we'll cover a match with the chi moves. Um, but if you want to get uh, your chi up, um, what are you eating that has uh, the chi in it? So most of the uh, most most every food product in the food sales industry. Usually they cook the chi right out at high temperature, and uh, your body doesn't produce the enzymes anymore like it used to. So you you need to eat raw food, and you need to eat um, food that's not uh, made for human cattle, so that they can go to a facsimile of a factory of basically a hologram of a factory for no reason that they're paid to um, but what you need to do is not pay attention to the marketing for these food products you're addicted to and you get really get some Chi in there and stop listening to people's warnings. There are many warnings to tell you don't do this. You must not do or else you'll become a bad. <laughs> Just laugh at those. You must laugh um, in the face of the people telling you. Um, you need to become angry. Because of the way um, we used to think. These are especially words. In the, um, we'll, we'll cover this um, after you become a molecule. Um, you know, we, these words, um, it's kind of all BFs. Um, we, uh, in the, Presently, we ha we uh, talk uh, with colors. We use uh, what are called colors. There's twenty. There's um, twenty three of them. There's t well, there's twenty two, and then there's two missing. So that's and that's the hidden cipher. And that is how did I mention that if there's if there's an MMA fighter since this is the point um if if there's an MMA fighter versus a Aikido fighter um then the 
the point Hey, the point is that um, I just wouldn't show up. Or the guy just wouldn't show up. You have to set up a octagon, right? You have to set up a rank. There's probably lights and there's a there's audience, there's camera. There's people there and there's rules and there's a judge and their sport. Did I mention that? Because that's what I was trying to say 10 minutes ago. Um, I just, I feel that wouldn't it, uh, you just, uh, I wouldn't show up to fight that person. They're competitive people. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? What the, what is up with those guys? And they're just wailing on them. What is this macho, the, this meat, this meathead mentality of you just pummel somebody. Like I, I was getting my tires changed like last year and it took all day and there was a college football game on and it's like, and it's seriously, I, there's nothing else to do. Um, so I'm watching it, and it's like fifty to zero, and they keep they keep playing until it's all the way the time has run out, and it, until it's like seventy nine to zero, and those guys in that in that interval, it was like hours of scoring more points against the people who are just not going to score any more points. And they just never call it. Like, what is this? Like, fully... Like, like isn't there... Isn't there some, like, honorable, gentlemanly, like, sportsmanship? Where you're... You say, you say like, all right, man. Yeah, I, whoa, okay. It's like... It's like really we we gotta go overkill. Um, competitive people. Uh, don't get lost in the sauce. Um, this is uh. I'll resurrect them in the streets. Heal. What the hell is this guy talking about still? Um, if there's a if there's an MMA fight, and they um, I think it's just a better idea not to show up. Don't set up a those the ropes on the outside or a cage. Look, okay, he's in there, and the other guy has a weapon. Whoa, that's not that's again that's not that's against the rules. Then automat then you lose. So I'm gonna I'm gonna It's not Well your thing sucks, dude. And that and uh and I'm I'm smarter for not even participating. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my uh you well, you would just get your ass beat. Well, right. So I'm not. So I don't. I don't care. And it, and so I'm not it. So I'm not in competition. Do you see how? I'm tr like I'm trying to get. Up to 100% power. Oh, 
every year uh, since I turned, when did I try to start this? Basically, every year since I uh, got to the age where I didn't think I, I would be, um, like I, I never thought I would live past that age. I don't, I didn't really know what to do. So, but I, I lived under, I guess, repressed. I just never, I never lived my life. And now. And ever since then, I just said, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to 100% power. And I have, and so every year I go up in 10% increments. I guess I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna need to go up more than 10% because I've already gone up. Well, f physically, strength-wise, um, you know, I just, I, I've been, I started training, and then training, and then a little calisthenics. Uh, but back to this match, folks. I start talking about this. Uh, welcome back. If you had MMA fight versus uh, Aikido, the math master, wouldn't you have? He wouldn't show up, but um, because the point of Aikido is you don't to to draw the sword is not to draw the sword. Uh, all right, we're at the point where um, I'm explaining the joke, so. It, But this, but this, but this is what I do. It's the these are the these are these these are these uh, commentaries. If you don't get what's going on, I made a I made a video a few months ago that was like this, um, where I come on and uh, I'm I'm the uh, I'm the masked uh, uh, fighting ninja fighting commentary person. And uh, I take these, uh, these, uh, you know, these uh, matches that are online, and they're all hyped up by um, all the meatheads who watch the Joe Rogan podcast. And I'm sort of satirizing them uh, by coming on and and talking sort and 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 saying like a uh, commentary on. These these uh these styles that are more considered woo, uh, uh most of the time, uh and and sort of written off, uh, well in the modern age and and a lot of the meatheads are like uh well, it's good it's traditional, uh but it's not gonna work now because of this and this and this. Um, but uh what I see what I'm arguing now and I. And um, yeah, this is part of the joke. Um, what I'm arguing, I'm arguing in favor of the um, for the more more chi things, and and I'm just pointing out where uh, um, the gaps in logic are. From the other side, it doesn't get argued um, from very much, but it's a more gentle approach, right? 
it's the uh, it's the uh, you know sort of the lunar path. It's it's the sort of they've got they've got yin. And you. <clears throat> All right, I've done. I've done the joke and I've explained meta commentary on, on it. Um, I've completely dissected it, and I think I think that's um, that's where this uh, tape ends. This message will now self-destruct. <laughs>